Hey what's going on guys, it's Tom here back today with another video answering some more of your Black Ops 2 multiplayer questions. I've actually put quite a lot of hours into the game having played it at Eurogamer and I thought I'd share some of my knowledge with you guys and answer any questions you might have had. So I've been taking questions over Twitter and there will be links to my Twitter in the description below. Feel free to tweet me any Black Ops 2 multiplayer questions you might have. If I haven't answered them before in any of my previous videos, I'll answer them in my next video. So I've actually done about three or four of these already so go and check those out if you've missed them. You can find those over on my channel page. But now I'm going to get into today's questions. So the first one I've got here is can you take off dolphin dives and I don't think that it's a function to actually take off the dolphin dive Next question is in black ops 2 how did the silencer affect the gun? It's pretty much the same as it was in previous years once you put that silencer on the gun You're not going to show up on the minimap when you're firing However, you are going to suffer by having less range on the gun meaning that it's going to take more bullets to kill at that mid-range distance Another one here about kill confirmed how much score and XP do you get for denying your own tag and confirming and denying other tags in terms of the XP I'm not 100% in terms of score again. I'm not 100% however, I do know that for denying and picking up tags you were getting as much score as you were getting for getting the kill itself so they've really actually changed kill confirm in this year's game you know modern warfare 3 i don't think it did it great you know it encouraged kind of tag camping and just going for kills whereas in black ops 2 you want to get those tags those tags are almost more important than getting the kills Next one here is one that everyone's going to be really interested in. How is the knifing system going to work? Can you panic knife or do you have to equip it? So I can actually say you don't have to equip your knife. Everyone is going to have a knife by default and you can just hit that circle button or the B button depending on what console you're on and you can swipe the knife. Also, if you actually don't pick a primary or a secondary, you're actually going to be always holding a knife. Now the good news is guys that the knife lunge is gone. I tried to use the knife. I don't think I got one knife kill because you literally have to be standing right next to a guy to kill him with a knife. So they've changed it in this year's game you literally just kind of swing out in front of you there's no lunge whatsoever from what i've seen when i played the game and hopefully that's how it's going to translate into the new game so only use me blade you know i think it's going to be a tough year and if you can master just going around knife in this year it's going to be absolutely beast and the next one here is our tomahawks replenished with scavenger tomahawk in this year's game is actually called the combat axe and yes it is replenished with scavenger the cool thing about the combat axe in this year's game is the fact that you don't actually have to press the kind of square or x button to pick up a tomahawk when it's on the ground so in last year's game or in all previous games when you actually saw a tomahawk on the ground or wherever it's been called throwing knife that kind of thing you have to press the x or square button to pick it up in this year's game as soon as you walk over it you're just going to pick it up and resupply it, it has the same effect as like when you've got scavenger and you just pick up a tomahawk without actually doing anything. Next one here, are explosives stronger or weaker in Black Ops 2? I'd say they're a tiny bit weaker than Black Ops, but I do think they're a little bit stronger than Modern Warfare 3. Next one here about the feel of the gameplay, does it compare to Black Ops World at War? And I'd say that of those two, it probably compares most to Black Ops. And to be honest, out of all the games, it actually probably compares to Black Ops the most. To me, what it kind of feels like, it kind of feels like Black Ops in the setting of Modern Warfare 3. And I think that's the feel that they're going for in this year's game. And I think it does work quite well. Another one here that's actually quite important regarding score streaks. Can you assign three different score streaks to each class like Modern Warfare 3? Or are the three you choose going to be assigned for all your classes? And I can say that it's the latter. It means that when you actually assign your score streaks they're going to be the same score streaks for each and every class so we're actually going back from what we've done in modern warfare 3 and personally i'd say this is the one thing that was in modern warfare 3 that i wish was returning to black ops and i don't know why they've actually done that maybe they'll actually let us know that but that's the way it's going to be in this year's game there's going to be one score streak layout that's across all of your classes next question here is about the recoil on the guns and i'd say the recoil is i'd say most similar to black ops you know it's not like modern warfare 3 modern warfare 2 we had kind of laser beam guns this game it has recoil and you're gonna have to put a lot of bullets into people to kill them so i'd say yeah it's probably most like black ops in terms of the recoil and time to kill and kind of damage to kill i'd say the time to kill actually is a little bit faster than black ops Next question here is about the fast mag attachment. The fast mag attachment is pretty much the same as sleight of hand perk in previous games. It's going to be coming to this year's game and it's going to be an attachment I'm going to be running on a lot of classes. The question is, does it double the ammo like it did in Black Ops? And I don't think it does actually grant you any extra ammo. Whilst it's visually similar to the dual mags, I don't think it does give you any extra ammo and it does actually increase the speed on every reload, whereas the dual mags in Black Ops actually only give you a fast reload for every other reload. So it looks like dual mags, but it's actually quite different in practice. Another one here about equipment and it says are shock charges good enough to spend a point on and I'd say they probably are I do think shock charges are actually really good I'm actually going to do a separate video talking about all the kind of tactical grenades that are at your disposal and I'm going to give you my thoughts on them separately let you know what ones work for me the best in a future video so it looks like that's all I've got time for guys in terms of these questions there were a few more so I'm actually going to carry this over into yet another video be sure to tweet me any multiplayer questions you might have as that is what I got to play I didn't actually get to play any combat training or zombies so I might not know the information about those but you know just drop them comments anyway 
and if I can answer any, I'll do my very best. Just want to say a big thanks for watching, guys. Big thanks to all the support lately. It's been great. If you could drop a like on this video, it really helped me out. Subscribe if you're new and check out some of my previous videos. Got those on screen right now. I'll catch you guys with another video very soon. Objective parameters obtained. Well done.